Now, the new season of Fortnite is on to a fine start. Chapter 5 Season 2 is going on its third week already. And being we got introduced to a hotfix update this week, the V29.01, there wasn't much that was introduced with that update, except Midas making a full comeback to the game with a revamped Floor is Lava LTM and also some new cosmetics as well. Now, with this update video, guys, on the other hand, we'll discuss all that's coming, including all that was leaked in by some of the top leakers in the community. So be sure to stick around here until the end to get all this info. Be sure fans as well, popping code VYCG in the item shop, it's much appreciated, helps out the channel tremendously, and let's get into it. Now for recent news guys, the court case or court war between Epic and Apple came to a close after both company had an insane battle that lasted a couple years. Apple in a sense came out victorious as they won over the court in some parts of the world. Being that's the case guys, some huge news was actually discussed yesterday I believe about the United States actually confronting Apple. In this tweet guys, Sheena actually explained the United States has actually sued Apple claiming they have an illegal monopoly on smartphones. In unrelated news, I have learned that Tim Sweeney has just opened a bottle of champagne and is currently dancing around in his room full of joy. Not that Mr. Tim Sweeney isn't somewhere doing that guys because he was one of the persons who wanted Apple to change their ways in the first place basically because you know it's unfair. Moving on fans about some announcements with the Fortnite crew for April being we are super close to the end of this month already which is a cr which is crazy in my opinion. The new crew for April which is Ares as it was announced on the first week of chapter 5 season 2. A lot of fans thought for sure the skin would have been in the battle pass being it was teased first in the cinematic trailer and played a major role in introducing the chains of Hades mythic. Turns out the skin guys will likely become available for all to get in the crew on April 1st and persons who are currently subscribed to the monthly plan will get it a day early with all cosmetics that will likely get announced soon. But being that's the case guys, Ares is in the crew for April, there's still one more god that's likely to return to Fortnite very soon as well and that's Kratos. The skin bundle hasn't been seen in over 1000 plus days and we had a huge relation to him returning when we first saw the trailer of the hand emerging from the ground back in last season. We talked about how this scene from the first God of War game had a huge relation to it. Plus, we can clearly see that this was Ares' hand from the ground because it had like the chains and stuff basically everything on it. Now, in my opinion, guys, I think Fortnite is going to bring back the original Kratos skin along with the old version that was already in game with the Leviathan Axe. I honestly don't know the reason they did not do it because this season is way too perfect for it. Plus, when you use the Chains of Hades, the animation looks so similar to that of the God of War game when Kratos is using the Blades of Chaos. Now, for the update that's coming, that update should be releasing next week at the giving date on screen. Of course, there's a lot of stuff that was talked about by the leakers that that will be appearing including new cosmetics considering we didn't get nothing in the V29.01 uh, regarding cosmetics. As always guys, we should see more info on the Avatar X Fortnite collab too, as everyone including myself thought for sure we would be getting Aang and company in the battle pass when we first heard uh, there was actually an avatar in it. <laughs> Turns out it was Korra and she was doing some nice bending in the cinematic trailer to be honest. Now with this though guys, it confirms leakers such as Hypix and Sheena were actually right as they got info from the Falls last season pertaining to Appa, Aang, and also other Avatar characters to be coming not in the original Battle Pass, but the mid-season one, similar to those of the late Jujutsu Kaisen collab and also the TMNT collab. This guys was in fact, I believe was talked about by Ifra Monkey or Hypix as well, that this mid-season collab will take place at some time in April or basically next month. And also come to think of it guys, that's when we'll in fact have Korra available to be unlocked with her challenges. That's a good time for the Avatar Mythics to be available too. Now speaking of challenges guys, the Rise of the Midas quest is gonna be available for another couple of weeks or so, as the Floor is Lava LTM that was introduced in the recent update is probably gonna be available for the rest of the season. Now in case you missed it, the Ascendant Midas skin is gonna be available through the upcoming Midas Cup tournament uh, this weekend, and I did in fact made a video on this explaining all you needed to know plus more information on how much points you'll actually need in the tournament to get the skin. So make sure you do check that out. It's popping up right now at the top right of the screen. Now for those of you guys who are basically interested in creative maps, you'll be excited to hear that there is some new stuff that's coming for UEFN and also changes to creative as well. A new user interface system is being developed for the mode. And here's a small showcase on screen guys of how it'll actually look in game. 
and obviously this looks like an inventory UI change to be honest. Now for this guys, a lot of other changes is gonna be appearing with the UEFN once it officially comes available for Battle Royale. As with the tweet said by Hypex, Fortnite actually clarifies the use of UEFN in BR seasons starting in 2025. The goal for UEFN is to reach the point where it can create entire BR seasons that are as exciting as the current Chapter 5 Season 2, but use the amazing tools that UEFN will offer. We will ensure the tools exceed our needs. Now, fams, I believe we did see what one of the directors or the manager of UEFN uh, were actually talking about when we first saw a look at the amazing Eminem concert. Epic, and I've been at Epic for about 20 years. And in that time, I've worked as a level designer, worked in cinematics, worked on some of our special projects, and uh, currently working on some of the events that we do for Fortnite. And I can tell you, uh, we'll talk a lot about that today. And the in-game experiences that are cinematic in nature. And so we generally have two different types of uh, event. One is narrative, and so that's usually uh, things like the Galactus event where we do tie-ins with Marvel, and we tell narrative in Fortnite. Uh, through some of these events. And then we also have concerts that are more musical in nature. And so examples of that might be the Ariana Grande concert or the Travis Scott concert. We've also worked a little bit with Marshmallow. Um, and so that's that's primarily what I'm doing these days uh, for direction. And it's a, it's a hell of a lot of fun. Next guys, for those of you who did not know, Fortnite is also working on a update to decrease actual game loading times. This is said in the tweet, it's sort of like a minimal lobby feature and it's speculated to be released sometime in chapter six. So it's not really close to be honest. Moving on some information on first person mode. If you guys did not know, we finally have some information regarding the first person mode that was talked about some chapters ago to be honest. Leaker Hypix along with other well-known data miners uh, from the community actually suggest we will be getting first person mode later this year. For me though fans, I personally think we'll probably get it few seasons later in this chapter like a whole new mode similar to those of which we already got like uh lego and also uh the festival and all that that would definitely be sick to be honest but i would love to hear you guys' thoughts down below as well however fans with that being said the new update is coming out this tuesday so make sure you guys do drop a like subscribe turn on post notification for all the latest information here inside of fortnite do use code dycg in the item shop to support the channel even further and I'll see you guys in the next one. Check out any of these videos here on screen. Take it easy. Peace out.